this one going cause some controversy. But you know, some music is music, and music need lyrics just like Matic need bullet. Chat bout. Why enough of them are this jungle music? When the family eat your friends, I eat food out, I eat after jungle music. I get the music, so from I get out the way I feel good. I get over the oceans and over the seas. You know, when we come, it's just reality. It's about street music, it's about heritage, it's about mixing, it's about, you know, the, the, the fusion, and it's exactly about what the UK represents. We did a session with Congo Nati um, sometime last year, and um, that went down quite well, and this was totally different, something out of the blue. And we said, well, why, well, look, Papi, that's our answer. They say, because we can do the Dub to Jungle tour, and just let it um, rise, because Jungle is coming back into the fold. So then this year, they had the vibes to do a, a dub to jungle. And we played together a couple times and we got good vibes and it felt right to do a tour together. A rebel that came to me, Congo, that came to me and told me about the tour and asked me if I you know, he wanted me to get involved. Plus, I, I grew up on dub. Jungle Night is really another form of reggae roots music. Jungle is still like reggae, dub, like it's that category. Jungle music, I mean already that's 20 years old, it's still being played in the current day, but the samples are still being used in the records that Mikey Channel One is playing today. So, you know, there's a lot of history in all of it. Dub and jungle are the same. They're from the same source, right? That's coming from Africa, see? And, you know, it's, it's taken 20 years for things to grow so that naturally now, youths that are coming up in this time, they're, they're drawn to dub and they're drawn to jungle, they're drawn to dubstep. Dub and jungle are jazz music, Rastafari music, you know, and the frequencies and the vibration are, you know, the same. It's just that jungle is our dub, coming from the UK, seeing, so we're just following on the pattern that was already set by the great producers from Jamaica, yeah. What we try to really show, right, is that, you see, as we know, sir, the foundation of every music in the world yeah. is roots music, but not roots music as we know it. The first roots music was the drums in Africa. Drums. Yeah. Right? That was the first roots music was a drum. The man a licking kete drum. Yeah. Right? But then next minute the man having big bass drum. Boom. Everywhere for about 10, 20, 30 miles could hear that bass drum. You may not hear the little drums. We're just trying to take it to a higher level, you know, as sound system, as uh, Andrew Rastafari, we have to just try and take it as far as we can go because, you know, it's, uh, you, 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 you don't get no help from the, from the big corporate people, you know, so you have to do it yourself, Rastafari. I think people were really kind of responding to the whole the vibe behind the music. It's got it's got passion behind it. It's got history behind it, and it's still it's still blowing up a dance. So it's like it's perfect, basically. From Manchester to Bournemouth, from you know Bristol to Birmingham to Leicester to London, each city has it's got its own take on it, and I think that's the beauty of the UK. And that's the beauty of like dub and jungle. No, you, 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 you tap into it how you feel you want to tap into it. The nights have been amazing. We've had some fantastic energy. Yeah, the crowd tonight was amazing. Like, yeah, for, like, that full signal on one of the crowd, uh, music, crowd singing, uh, lights up. Yeah, yeah. So everyone's happy and relaxed and, you know. You know, Channel One are the foundation for me. The authenticity of rolling in speakers. Channel One, it's, 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 been, it's been something that a higher force, you know, you asked me first who, who kind of organizes, but I would say Ja has brought us together. 
two congolese coming from rastafari and mc what we're channel one coming from a sound system level also true rastafari what i like the element is the the two young girls who's coming phoebe and nancy from day i've always heard channel one channel one and when i'm talking about sound systems and then to actually meet them and jam with them and bond zoot with them and and vibes with them it's been sick man it's been hard Congo Natty, of course. Uh, our He's such a legend that yeah. anything he touches is gold, absolute gold. So everybody as a whole, anyway, it's yeah. just a blessed thing. Everybody's, it's like a big family of people. If you follow the family tree, and I think it's important to look at the, the relationship of the branches, everything comes back down to, you know, the earth and how we eat and how we breathe and how we live. And that fundamentally for me is kind of dub and all the f facets that it, it ex expands to. Dub is, is like the foundation because a dub, a dub tune is ultimately a, a tune that you know without the vocals. So all reggae are, is dub, see? So reggae music now, which incorporates dub, rockers, you know, everything, is the influence of world music today. And for I and I coming from the UK, that has been the foundation of our music, dub music. Yeah, man. I mean, when you do your, really do your homework and look into the history, um, there are all kinds of arguments that hip hop came out of dub with the DJing technique, MCing, um, even the, the format of uh, an MC and a, and a, a turntable t player. Um, that whole formula uh, is, comes from directly from reggae, as well as a lot of other things, like going back to the production side of things, we're talking about the, the bass music. What influence has dub got on that? You know, it's, it's a whole, philosophy really you see dub music dub music is, is is always is always been there is always been there at the end of the day um what i would like to call it is is, is roots you see because the roots thing is coming from the underground and the roots thing is is come there and the roots thing is coming from somewhere where where a lot of a lot of these i say corporate people don't want to go you see? So when it comes from roots, and I say you can say roots, people call it dub, but, um, but I like to still call it culture. The roots thing and the, and the dub thing is coming from, you know, way back, that I come from Jamaica. Undiluted, you see? And that's how sound system come about, playing undiluted dub from say King Tobies, you see? Pseudo One, Treasure Isle. You see, that's how we did, that's how we used to play it. Undiluted dub, not no water out at all. You see, it's kind of, you know, it's dub, it's roots, it's rasta. We still have to maintain the same structure. You see, and we can't let people take over and, and, and say, well, boy, they might go water down into this, water down into that. No, we still have to stay in the same structure because when, when Gregor Isaac can sing, he's singing. When you hear on a sound system, it's like 10 times better. You see, that's the whole idea about sound system. That's where I come, that's where I fit in. You see, sound system. That's the fire. You see? That's the fire. Not every music lasts forever or the test of time. You know, I don't have to name the names, but some music you know is just here for a moment or have been just here for a moment, then they disappear. So some of them is just hype. But dub is, as I said before, the root. Is Rastafari. Is the heartbeat. Yeah, man. The love of Rastafari. Celestia. Well, the place, the, the place of Rastafari carries me through. Carries me through to whatever I do. Whatever I do, whatever me and Caleb, the, the works that we call it, it's your works. Uh -huh. And the most significant thing about this thing is that when you listen to the word and the sound and the power, 
you're going to get, the, um, again, an undiluted spectrum of Rastafari. Nothing's going to be taken out. I will not throw nothing in. I came up on Coxon sound, which is a Rastaman sound, when I was a youth. You know? So it's pure, the influence of pure Rastaman around me as a young youth. The core elements of what it speaks is, 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 is true and it's nice, you know. Either which way, it, 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 it teaches people to be good. I was young, I wasn't exactly, my name is Rastaman and where were you? I was young, I was from Brixton, so I used to get in trouble, enough little things. So there's, it's more to do with the guidance that Rastafari gave me more than I just said I'm going to be. Do you understand me? Oh, I am. You understand me? It is, it is truly about peace and love and being humble and, you know, working as a team. And, you know, it's great to see that sort of thing. And, you know, so therefore I, I see it as a really positive influence. Music transcends barriers. And the music is the revolution. So, you know, this is the fullness of it these sort of tours do break down barriers in that in that aspect now people are a lot more open-minded they don't mind going to a rave where it's going to play some dub and then maybe some some drum bass you see when i when i started the sound system and i took it over from um my elder brother or whatever i had a vision i mean that's channel one's motto and that's one that they've had for years and years and years bob marley did it you know playing reggae to white people and bringing people together They say so when I went and played it with people like Buster Blood Vessel. Yeah. Uh-huh. When I used to play with Selector. You see? I used to play with all these all, all his man, Aswad, yeah. Misting Roots. Yeah. You see? Well, quality is important, right? Because just, you know, if you look through your two eyes, yeah, and things look a bit blurry, you're going to have to get some visionary things dealt with, right? So, so that's the same with music. The technical, technical side is very, is, is very, very important. That with great production is nuclear, bruv. Yeah. You understand me? So when Channel One Sound System come, I said, you know, I, we used to play Valve's Valve. Uh-huh. We used to play Valve Amplifier. And Valve Amplifier, Valve gives you a particular warm sound. You see? And once you get that warm sound, that warm sound, people want to hear the sound as not too much of your ears, you know. But they want to hear your pants for cheek. You see? And that's the whole idea of sound system. That's my interpretation. As in, when you know, say, yeah, your pants length can shake, then you can say, yeah, man. And say, yeah, you get, you're getting that sound. Yeah. Not, to, not to bust out your ears and whatever, and make your ears them start bleeding and all them turning. We're not into that. Channel One Sound is not into that. I want to get this sound, which, um, which is not too loud, but is rolling. And it's lifting up people, and that's what we call upliftment. One love, and let's try and make every day like a day one. So today is day one of a new beginning. So that's what I would say to the people. Just keep the one love in your heart, and let's go forward. Listen, I have to big up the sound, right? Yeah. Noise control, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can experience a tune at home, man, but you've got to come and hear it played out in the system. That's the most important thing. Support the artists, come to the dances, buy the music, and just keep, keep the scene going, because you know, a lot of people working really hard to bring music to people with ears. And so we just give thanks to everybody, support and whatever, and true Rastafari, we can just carry yourself true and true, and true, and just live clean and decently. That's the fire. Yeah, all the people who love jungle and dub, tell the fly said us deal with love. Yeah, not war. A dub and jungle and the whole bass thing is all about love, remember. Protect the colony, listen to the prophecy, understand it properly, hold a hand and follow we. Protect the colony, listen to the prophecy, understand it properly. Yeah, yeah.